mean, what most people notice with age is the lower face, the upper neck, these areas where we tend to get a bit of a drop with aging. Um, and what happens is we lose elasticity through the connective tissues. We get changes in every layer of the anatomy. That means the lower face drops down. We lose that straightness to the jawline, or we may see laxity underneath the chin in, in the upper neck. So when we talk about a facelift, we're talking about treatments that are generating lift through the lower face and the upper neck to correct that drop and to correct that laxity. The first is that we are losing elasticity in the connective tissues. So you've got the muscle and the connective tissues that run almost like a hammock through the lower face and the upper neck. And when we lose elasticity there, we get laxity and we see a bit of a drop. But there are also changes in the other layers. So in the, in the deep kind of structural fat pads that sits underneath the muscle, we're losing volume from our mid twenties onwards. And that, uh, those, those structural fat pads are all acting almost like a kind of scaffolding through the lower face and they're holding everything up. So again, when we lose volume there, we see a drop through the lower face. A non-surgical facelift you know, offers kind of many of the same benefits as surgery. So you're gonna get that lift through the lower face. So you're gonna prevent the, the loss of elasticity and the laxity in the future, but it doesn't carry with it many of the risks and, and the downtime that come with a, a surgical facelift. So for many of our patients who have mild laxity or they've just seen a bit of a drop, they can get the result that they're looking for without the, the downtime of surgery, without the risks of surgery. So I, I came in to have all therapy with your lo lovely Rachel. You can't talk about a non-surgical facelift without talking about all therapy. Um, it is still to this day the only FDA approved sort of non-surgical treatment that, for, for lift through the lower face and the upper neck. Uh, the way that all therapy works is it's using ultrasound waves to heat up the connective tissues. And that heat starts a healing response, which over a period of about three months is going to build lots of collagen, tighten the connective tissues and, and give you that lift. There are other treatments that will do a similar thing. So there are other kind of technology based treatments that will heat up the connective tissues, whether it be with ultrasound or radio frequency. Um, but all therapy is the only one that can treat right the way down to the muscle and get you that real lift. So with all therapy, the, the, instead of having needles that are doing that kind of traumatizing the skin and the connective tissues in that way, it's the ultrasound itself. And the ultrasound is heating up the connective tissues and, and starting that healing response. Well, therapy, it's such a precise treatment that we're sending just the right amount of energy down to just the right place. So I was surprised at how little it actually hurt. I was really yeah. surprised. Um, there were a few, so I was numbed with the numbing cream and then they bought me biscuits and tea and I watched Friends for half an hour. <laughs> It was so nice. It almost feels like you're cheating. The connective tissue layers that we're sending that heat down to don't really have sensory nerves. So what you're feeling when you have an old therapy treatment is you're, you're feeling that energy and that ultrasound, um, there's ultrasound waves passing through the skin where the, where the sensory nerves are sitting. So you may feel a kind of prickly sensation, it can feel a bit pins and needly or, or a bit tingly, but actually there shouldn't really be much pain involved. You may feel that heat's just building up a little bit over time, as you say, and for most people, there's a couple of areas where uh, they're feeling that heat towards the end of the treatment. It takes about an hour to do. So by the end of that, you'll probably have a couple of hot spots, but actually it should be very, very manageable. With all therapy, we have the ability to also treat just underneath the dermis, just under the level of, uh, of the skin, um, at around one and a half millimeters, which is also gonna stimulate collagen in those top layers and, and work on skin quality. So it's not a retexturizing treatment. And so for people, for, for my patients who are looking to get significant lift and retexturization, we might combine it with something like Morpheus. And there are lots of different clever ways that you can combine these sorts of lifting treatments to get that, you know, that are kind of a real bespoke result for, for, for an individual who's looking for, for say, a combination of those things. Um, but with all therapy alone, you can still get improvements to skin quality. Most people will start to see some nice changes around kind of six weeks after their treatment. So it's very much a gradual process. For most people, they'll see their full result by about three to four months. Uh, and once you achieve a result with all therapy, we would certainly expect it to last years rather than months. I have noticed the results creep. So I had it two months ago and I've noticed that they're definitely yep. happening. And sometimes you wake up and think, God, it must have slept really well. And you've definitely noticed that my jawline is slightly coming back. So I had mine two months ago and I'm definitely still seeing the results. What's the maintenance? Well, therapy is always just one session. So when you come to have your maintenance treatment, it will just be a single session again. Um, how long you leave it will be, it will be collaborative between you and your practitioner, really. For, I would say for our average patient, for, for someone who really likes all therapy and is looking to maintain it long term, they're probably doing one session every two years. Yeah, you can have it above the brow, which is going to give you a, a kind of a subtle brow lift. Um, so by treating kind of this area, you will get a brow lift. You can also treat underneath the eye, which is another kind of upper face area. 
But if you really are bothered about this area and you can, you can invest that money in yourself, I just think some, it, it works. It really works. That's what I would say.